Hello everybody. Welcome to my video training. Today I am going to explain you this feature called root guard with the protocol spanning tree. And this is going to be the sixth video uh, for this uh, for this CCNA series. Uh, let's go to the next page of the presentation. Uh, as I put up here, I say imagine that on your spanning tree network the priority of a switch has just been modified with a smaller value than the other switch. Then the switch will throw over your existing root bridge and become the root bridge. Uh, and to solve this problem, that's the reason why Cisco has implemented a feature called root guard. The power that is configured with root guard uh, does not accept B, uh, BPDU with a lower bridge ID. So just keep that in mind. And I say if the port receives a BPDU with a lower bridge ID, the port goes into what we call root inconsistent mode. And this root inconsistent mode is equivalent to the, to the listening state. The, and I say the port will be reactivated if the guilty switch stops sending BPDU with lower bridge ID. And to activate root guard, you simply enter the following command command on the port as you see up here. So let me go to this scenario up here. That's where, where we're going to be working on this with this port packet tracer. I have three switch up here: uh, switch one, switch two, and switch three. And switch three is the root bridge. And uh, like uh, if, if you understand uh, what I just explained you with the con the con this concept of uh, root guard, uh, root guard should only be enabled on port on the port of the root bridge. Just keep that in mind because what it uh, can help you is to uh, stop all the switch to become a, uh, the root bridge. Uh, because uh, uh, some someone a malicious person can come into your network, bring a switch and make that switch uh, or configure the pre the priority of the switch to, uh, to be lower or <laughs> Uh, the worst scenario is it can make the priority of uh, that switch equal to zero and uh, you're going to have a problem on your network because that switch will become the root bridge. So that's the reason why uh, if, uh, in this scenario switch 3 is the root bridge so uh, root guard will be configured on those two ports like FA0 slash 1 and FA0 slash 2 because let's say if you configure like uh, if you configure root guard on FA0 slash 1 up here for switch one, uh, switch one. If uh, switch one gonna receive, uh, we receive a BPDU from switch three that is lower, so it's gonna uh, 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 it's gonna uh, uh, disable this port, and uh, so <laughs> this link will be disabled. So that's not a good idea. But that's not what you want. That's the reason why you will never enable root guard on a switch that is not uh, the root switch. So uh, all these ports. Or the, the root guard sh should only be enabled on power that is uh, uh, on uh, that is uh, on the root switch. Just keep that in mind. So, in order to show you all these things into action, uh, let me uh, go to packet tracer. I have the same scenario up here in packet tracer. So, root uh, switch three is the root is the root bridge. So, we're gonna go uh, right away to the configuration for. Uh, for root guard, it is very simple. It is uh, we're gonna go to the interface configuration mode. So uh, I'm gonna go to enable uh, privilege mode, and uh, we're gonna do interface 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 f0 slash one, uh, and uh, we're gonna do. Uh, And we're going to do spanning tree guard, spanning tree, uh, spanning tree, guard, root. Okay, excellent. That's the command you need. And that's it. So this for is, una uh, is uh, unable with root, uh, with, uh, root guard. So we're gonna uh, do the same thing for uh, the other port. 
which is interface uh, interface interface f0 slash 2 so and we're gonna do spanning tree guard root that's the command you need so these port all the, these two port are activated with root guard so uh, right away uh, what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna go to simulation mode and i'm gonna go edit the filter i'm gonna choose uh, stp up here stp as you see up here and i'm gonna make a, a switch one as the root bridge and in order to do that it is very simple i'm gonna give a switch one the, the priority of uh, of zero uh, that's gonna make this switch uh, the the root bridge but but uh, switch three will will, uh, will uh, prevent that because uh, because of the future of root guard if you switch three will not accept the the bpdu that that is going to be sent by switch one so let's go to switch one on the global configuration mode uh, conf key conf key and i'm gonna do a spanning tree uh, spanning tree vlan vlan one that's the only vlan i have right now vlan one and uh, the priority i'm gonna make priority is gonna ask me for a number i'm gonna choose zero and uh, and that's it and you see now once i do that this switch is starting sending because he is gonna uh, think that now uh, he is a root bridge because it has the low priority so it's gonna try to uh, send bpdu let's see so uh, you see this the port automatically go into uh, inconsistent mode that's what i was trying to tell you you see excellent as uh, as you see up here he say spanning tree root guard block port 0 slash 1 try to become non designated in villain 1 move uh, uh, root inconsistent state uh, say move root inconsistent uh, state as you see up here that's it so excellent so now the port the port has you see it didn't it's not gonna accept the bpdu because uh, of this future root call root guard excellent so so uh, root, root guard is the uh, taking action on this uh, this uh, uh, BPD frame that's the reason why this uh, switch will never become the root bridge so excellent but let me start the simulation that's all I want to show you you see and even this port uh, goes to root inconsistent because uh, because this switch once it received the, that BPDU is gonna try to send the same BPDU with the priority of zero to this uh, switch that's the reason why the switch has uh, shut down all these two ports by putting those ports into uh, inconsistent mode so just keep that in mind so now i say uh, like i put up here in this presentation i say uh, if the port if the port uh, the, the port will be reactivated if the guilty switch stops sending bpdu and in order to prove you that let me uh, let me go back to uh, to simulation uh, to, to 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 packet tracer i'm gonna go to go back to simulation and i'm gonna try to uh, change the priority again back to the default i'm gonna do priority 32768 i think that's the default priority and now now once i do that let me try to see you see is is trying to send bpdu now you see that bpdu is lower than the than the uh, the root bridge so this root bridge normally is should bring this port uh, let me stop the simulation go back to real time yeah, let's give it a moment because the port i told you up here uh, the anchor system mode is equivalent to listen to the listening state so it's going to take a, a little bit of time but this port should come back up the port should come back up 
just in a few uh, moments. So you see the pore, <laughs> excellent. The pore is uh, the, the pore is reactivated because uh, I told you the guilty switch uh, stop sending the uh, frame, the BPD frame with the lower uh, uh, bridge ID. That's the reason why you see excellent. Those two pore has uh, come back to uh, to normal. So that's that's all I was trying to explain you about this feature called root guard. As I explain you, never uh, never configure root guard on a switch that is not the root switch. So the root guard should only be configured on the root switch or on the root bridge, uh, as I uh, show you in this demonstration. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. I would like to thank you for watching, and I see you for my next one. Uh, thank you.